Hi everybody, Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a couple of fun projects to share with you using the Modern Flower stencil, which just came out in the new Celebrate release with Simon's stamp. So here she is in all her glory. It's a large bloom on a six by six stencil. I have the Simon's stamp white glass mat and I'm using one of the waffle flower grip mats with a panel of hammer mill white cardstock. Any white cardstock will do. First thing I'm gonna do is blend a subtle little wash of color on this panel. So I started with peony and then I'm going into cantaloupe using all positively saturated inks. Um, I have a mixture of Simon's Stamp blender brushes. Sometimes I pull out a Gina K. It's just whatever color seems to match the ink. Uh, here we have Sunbeam. You know I'm going in rainbow order, but I am going to do a second card that's not screaming rainbow. I mean, I tried, okay, but it's just what I do. Okay, here we have sea foam, and um, this is not a perfect blend. In fact, it's pretty horrendous to me, anyway. Like this, but you're not going to really see all the imperfections once I do the stenciling over top. I just wanted a light wash of color. Okay, so I'm laying down the flower stencil, and I'm going to kind of crop it off to the top right side the right corner of the card. A little bit angled, a little bit. And then I'm using some post-it tape just to ma mask off those corners so I don't get any paste there. Now, I, I, I recently used these and I fell in love with the Neon Lunar Paste by Simon Hurley for Ranger. And this first color, I just love the name. It's called Hot Mess. And it's the brightest neon pink. And so I'm gonna use all the colors, all the, all the spectrum, on top of this very subtle blended background. I wasn't exactly sure how this was gonna go down. It could be a hot mess, okay? I'm slapping on some of these neon paste. And then I'm gonna take that scraper and kind of smooth it out. So it's gonna subtly blend the colors, but I don't want too much. I wanna keep all the colors. I don't want it to turn into mud, but I am laying it on kind of thick. It actually doesn't really use very much paste. I still have a ton. Uh, this neon yellow, I think it's called Voltage. It's given me life. And I'm um, just working my way. I'm not gonna sing it again, but working my way around the rainbow, the neon lunar paste rainbow. And um, today was a really gloomy day. A lot, a lot of rain here in Illinois, but you know what they say, April showers bring May flowers. That's what my mom used to always say. And it's true, the grass is getting green, the trees are budding, and that just means joy. But it does call for a few gloomy rainy days. Hank doesn't mind. He doesn't mind getting wet. Now here's that uh, Simon Hurley scraper. I'm trying to do this as good as I can, but you know what, at the end of the day, you're just scraping it. You're, it's a lick and a promise. You know what I mean? There's only so much you can do. Unless you wanna mask off each individual petal and get it, you know, but I, I wanted to see how this would go. So here's the big reveal, lifting it off while it's still wet and um, I'm digging it. Now I'm gonna set this off to dry and gonna start another panel because once you get going, you're like, well, what if I try this? So I'm gonna blend another subtle background, this time using different shades. I'm starting with butter. So in my mind, I was thinking, I wanna use some shades that I know I have reinkers for because I'm gonna use the reinkers in the same colors that I'm blending here to um, tint some white paste. So we're gonna do custom color, tone on tone. So we're doing the blending, very subtle, butter, dew. Here we have mist. And then to finish it off, I'm gonna go dark with one of the new uh, colors that just came out and it's called Night. It's a navy. It's a navy night. So that's, this is kind of, since I started with butter and then you overlap with that dew in the night, it starts to get a little bit green. And I like how this is going. It's giving me slightly masculine vibes. Again, cropping off the modern flower stencil up in the top right corner of the card, using a little bit of post-it tape, just in case on, on those exposed corners. So I had some distress grit paste snowfall. So it's white and it's a little gritty you know, because it is grit paste. Maybe I'd like to do something smoother sometime, but this is just what was in my drawer and I saw it and I thought, hey, let's try it. Let's try tinting it. So I pull out the butter re-inker and I just do four drops. 
I'm using that little Simon Hurley palette knife. This is why I use the uh, glass mat. The thing I love about the glass mat is it's so easy to just lift up when you're done and put it in the sink and rinse it off. And um, I like working on it. I like how the grip mat sticks to it nice. And so I'm putting on that butter over top of where I blended the butter. I don't know what that is, a piece of uh, garbage. Took that off. Now laying down a little more white of that snowfall grit paste and gonna drop a few drops of dew. And a little dab will do. I think if I did this again, I might even add less drops. It really goes far. You don't need much. I am trying to work a little bit of that paste into the leftover butter paste to try to just work that into the dew color, maybe get a slightly green tint. I don't want this to be so perfectly perfect. I like to have all the hues mixed in. Okay, we're working on the third color here. More of that white grit paste and then i'm going to add a few drops of what is this mist and this is the same color family as dew it's just a shade darker so this is going to be darker and uh, i love where this is heading and then i'll take that scraper and scrape off all this excess and i hopefully get a little bit more of a blended look especially in between that dew and the butter I would like that to get a little bit more blended if I can. Now here we are with the last color, and this is gonna be that dark night. She's dark, I love it. And I still left some of that leftover mist and dew, even a twinge of butter. I'm trying to get it all mixed in there. I want all those shades. I like it, I feel like Bob Ross right now. You know how he used to mix his paints? I used to love Bob Ross, so calming. I'm not sure I have quite the calming effect. I think I have more of a comedic slash bluesy jazzy singer effect. I don't know where I'm going with that. But here we go. I, I just put a few swipes in there willy nilly. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just trying to fake it till I make it. Take that scraper and every time I scrape, I should mention this, I take it off camera and clean my scraper with a dry paper towel. Just to, so that when I go back in, you know, there, I, I wish I could have got a little bit better blend between the butter and the dew, but you know what? I'm not complaining. I let this panel dry, both of them, for a good hour, at least, maybe even more. A little bit of foam tape on the back. I trim them down on a white card base through that little white border. Now for the sentiments. This is a thanks word die that is part of the A7 frames die set. And I did that out of white and some navy. I also did two more out of white so I could stack them up because dimension is life. And I'm using a little Barely Art liquid glue. Stack these up. Um, I don't always stack, but when you do, you know what they say, go hard or go home. I mean, if you're going to stack it, stack it. I remember back in the day, there would be times when I was so gung-ho, it would be nothing for me to stack up five word dies because that's how obsessed I was with dimension. I feel like as I'm getting older, I'm kind of calming down with the dimension. I still like it, but I'm reining it in. 2024 is the year of reining in. I'm just saying that, don't believe me. Okay, for the other card, just a note by Kathy Zilski, doing a little holographic and vellum for the shadow backer. I'm on, you know, I pulled out a little holographic for a grad card I made the other day. And now I'm hooked. Now I'm hooked. The holographic, that silver, it takes metallic cardstock to the next level. And it really gives you that va-va-va-boom. I also cut a couple of white just to stack these up. You know what they say. Dimension is life. Go hard or go home. Gluing those, these onto that uh, vellum backer. Don't forget the tittle. And then I put an acrylic block on it just to let it marinate. And then, um, this is a little crazy, but I did put slivers of foam tape behind that word die. Uh, you gotta be strategic so it doesn't show. You could do the card this way. I kinda like it that way, but I decided just to go upright because I had it already planned. And either way you go though, you can't make a mistake. And um, so there you have it. Also, 
I took that Just a Note stamp set by Kathy Zilski and I stamped a sentiment on the inside of my card, which I rarely ever do. But if you have a chance, check out this Just a Note stamp set. Some of the best, most thoughtful sentiments to go on the inside of the card. This one says, Just a Note to remind you how incredibly grateful I am to have you in my life. I love that. I wish I would have stamped it a little bit more evenly. It really chaps my khakis when one side of the stamp gets a little heavier pressure. Chaps my khakis. Finishing those off with a few new sequins uh, from the Celebrate release. We got the Dusk Embellishment Mix and the Starshine, which is the, is the clear ones. Love them both. There you have it. Holographic Just a Note with Neon Lunar Paste on the modern flower stencil and then here we created our own custom with that tim holtz grit paste i hope you enjoyed this video check out the celebrate release with simus stamp thank you so much for joining me today have a wonderful day and i will see you next time